Today I'm going to work on a problem that I'm sure a lot of you have with 30 amp receptacles on RVs melting. So as you can see, this is the problem. Uh, you end up with these plugs building up heat and then melting catastrophically. Believe it or not, this was still working. Scary, right? So the problem is not that you're drawing over 30 amps and the breaker is bad or anything like that. The problem is, is that you're drawing 20, 25 amps, 28 amps constantly. Um, any of these plugs that have any kind of burn marks or anything like that on them, as soon as they get a burn mark, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and more heat and more heat until you end up with this. Now this particular melt happened in Florida. It's hot outside, and the AC's running constant trying to keep up with it. So, this is what happened. In this bag, I am hoping is the solution. Now, it is a little bit bigger, a little bit beefier. It is a 50 amp. Let me show it to you. On the left hand side is the 50 amp. The right hand side is the 30 amp. As you can see, the prongs are bigger, so I am in hopes that this will take care of the heating problem. Uh, now, 50 amp does actually have a fifth connector. It's that shiny piece right there, and this piece right there. So, obviously, we're not going to be using that. But everything else on it, you know, it really resembles the 30 amp. I'm kind of surprised. But the prongs are bigger. All right, take all these big pieces off of it. So as you can expose where you got to connect the wires. As you can see, each one of those has four. We're only going to use three. I cannot stress how important it is to have the right wires connected. So do your due diligence. Okay, on this set, that side piece is actually the green. So we're not going to use the green. We're going to use the others. So we got the white, the red, and then the unmarked. Those are the three prongs. All right, so after you get the first cover piece on, now you got to hook up the wires. Now, what I am going to do is the black is going to go to the red, the white to white, and then the bare one is going to go to the uncolored one. Once you get your wires hooked up, make sure that those lugs are good and tight. Don't strip them out. But make sure that they're good and tight because any looseness is going to cause problems with heat. Last step. Screw these little holding screws in to secure that to that. And we'll have the RV side of it done. Alright, so get all your stuff onto the cord side and hook that up. All the connections made, make sure that all those screws are tight. The cord is uh, stranded copper, so again, make sure it's all tight. Again, I was reading on uh, line where it said that, you know, once a year or so, you should probably open everything up and tighten it up because electricity passing through it can actually loosen up stuff. I believe it. You know, I really like the way that cord holder is on this. The uh, old 30 amp did not have that. Pretty nice. Right, let's finish putting this thing together. One more time, guys. Double check triple check make sure that your connections are what you want I even took apart the box over here just to make sure that I had the wiring right put these covers back on get everything hooked up and then plug it in and see if it works just realized something here you do not have to take those screws all the way out once a year to check the tightness of it because if you just loosen them to about that you can slide that up and tighten all the screws that's handy. The bolts on the end that hold these do not over tighten those. Those are small little bolts. Uh, they just have to be good and snug. Looks pretty good. And make sure you plug it in and unplug it a few times. Make sure everything feels good before you try turning it on. Right, everything looks good. We're getting ready to turn on the power. I am not going to put this back into the side of the RV yet because I want to see how much heat builds up on the inside as well as the Plug. I took apart the fuse box 
just to make sure on the wiring on the RV as well. Everything's plugged in hot outside. Let's turn on the breakers. And there we go. We have power. Now we'll keep checking that cord, checking it for heat, and we'll be done. It's been about a month since I put the cord and the new end on the RV. Procrastinated about making the video and, well, figured I'd go ahead and do an update on it. The cord is not hot. It has a little bit of warmth to it, but it's like 93 degrees out here, so yeah, it's going to be a little warm. And I have an access, excuse the mess, I have an access panel right here to get into the back side of it so I can feel the back side. The back side's actually nice and cool. The rubber piece on this cord slides back and forward. That's the uh, waterproofing for the plug so that you can keep a, an eye on how hot it is getting. We were in Largo for eight months and after the cord we said, you know, Everything's been put on hold, so let's get out of here for a while. So we came up to the farm with Donald's parents and the animals. So we drove up here. We figured we'd take a couple of weeks and just kind of relax and sit around. But it has been really hot here. I mean, <laughs> you know, mid-80s to low-90s, I guess. Want to see some of the animals? Uh, the big horse out there is Sully. And the little one is Little Man. Those are the only two horses left out here. And of course, uh, we've got the little chickens in here. Littler chickens in here. I don't even know how old these guys are. Come on. Focus. Oh, yeah. uh, well, you get the idea. And we've got the laying hens over here. They're in the middle of uh, redoing this entire thing for them. Let's go see if Willie's awake. Willie's a riot. He's always fun. Willie! Willie! <laughs> Come on, Willie. Where are you? Oh, oh there he is. is him? Willie! What are you doing? <laughs> Don't you want to come out and say hi? Are you going to be shy? I can see your nose down in there. <laughs> All right, we'll catch Willie on another time when it's not so hot out. I don't think he likes the sun very much. I'm going to call that project a success. Only time will tell. The other ones last about a year, year and a half, so we'll see. Thanks for watching the video. Oh, I'll uh, leave you with some ferret video. See you soon. You like spoon time? It's so good! No cutie. I think you got it all. No. <laughs>